You know how I say, like, I read scientific papers first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, this morning, data for TRAPPIST-1E. Oh my god. Two papers! For you had the data this whole time at 2023. Two years ago, almost three. Holy fuck. <laughs> Fucking really? We do not obtain strong evidence for or against an atmosphere. Are you kidding me? This favorite carbon dioxide rich atmosphere is corresponding with Venus or Mars. Or Mars? Okay. Both a bare rock and a nitrogen rich scenario provide adequate fits for the data, but do not explain all features. Oh my god! Blue, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need to look at the spectrum. You don't even know what. Look, read it. Do you know what that means? Holy fuck. I never thought this day would come. <laughs> I feel so loody, but like, the trap was so D data came out like a week ago or something like that. They they hit us with the one-two punch out of nowhere for some no reason. No fucking reason. Reje rejection significance. Black colored boxes represent infinite, meaning that the models are firmly inconsistent with the data. It can be ruled out. I'm assuming here, lower number means you less likely to reject it. Okay. So hydrogen, definite no. We can ignore these bottom four boxes. Right side are for still contaminated correction. Okay, we're looking at these two. These two right here. Partial pressure of nitrogen is this axis, the Y axis, partial pressure of CO2 or methane, bottom X axis. And again, greener is less likely to reject. Bluer is more likely to reject. 10 to the zero is one. That's basically Earth. So let's look at this middle here. I mean, it is what the, the abstract said. This is a very wide range of atmospheric pressures. 10 pressures. It's this bottom row, this bottom row. Clearly not, 100 pressure is less likely so. One atmospheric pressure for both plots or less. Let's just say like 10 to the negative two, that's, we call that Mars, we'll call that Mars. This range here, and this range here. That's actually kind of good. That's really good. Oh my God, wait. I mentioned it in the Travis 1D video. Methane around red dwarfs does not survive that long, so. But it like, these numbers are better than those. There's more like blue here, but the green is, that's a good. 0.1 bars of carbon dioxide with this column. My God. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. For methane, yeah, 10 to negative two, that's lower, but that's less likely. That's a whole Earth's worth of methane, and that's more likely than less. Huh, it's very promising. Let's keep going. Uh, discussion? Okay, good. Adequately modeled by a flat line, which could represent a bare rock, a high mean molecular weight atmosphere, or a thick cloud deck. Okay. Uncorrected. So, they is not that good. There's still contamination. But why would they drop this now? Why now? The data gap between planets B, C, and D are like literal almost years, at least. Planet D and E, we, you surprised us today. This, it's only been a week. We could have waited. The favors Mars like and Venus like on the compositions and pressures and traps one E. So better than Mars, better than Venus. It's between those two. And let's focus on the CO2 here. If 10, 100, let's call Venus 100, it's way better than Venus. Tentative preference for methane, a hint to be investigated further. Fucking <laughs> equally likely. God damn it. <laughs> the methane is so weird. How do you explain that? Because again, this methane under normal circumstances would just disappear. It would get destroyed under the stellar flares light. What the fuck? And Chapman was saying maybe analogous to Titan, though in a different temperature regime. What the hell? Thought to be sourced geochemically via outgassing of natal. So it came from the planet, like abiotically, no life. Okay, we're not going there yet. Wherever this methane comes from, it's definitely not from life. It's from the rocks, chemical reactions. We used to make the simplifying assumption of being haze-free. Okay. If planet E has methane, a significant amount of methane, no haze. So nothing looking like Titan, that's for sure. While a globally habitable planet E is permitted, our posteriors favor a cold world. We advocate for an increased consideration of cold planet scenarios. Oh, it's frozen. <laughs> That if it has an atmosphere, then Trapos 20 is likely to be locally habitable at the substellar point, even if it is globally. Oh, I thought that was always the case. Globally, half the planet's in dark, frozen by default. 
it's not globally habitable. So, just a bombshell dropped on us. It's been said time and time again that Trappist one e is the jewel of the system. That's, that's the one that's most likely to be habitable, or at least with an atmosphere. I'm gonna err on the safe side. We still don't know yet. We have not narrowed it down. I mean, we kind of have better than Mars, better than Venus. That's still a pretty wide range, I'd say. And the paper says it itself, it could still be a barren rock. We are like, right there though. Wow. And I know I focused on like, papers for my world building project. Like, keeping it close to the actual papers. I don't think this has derailed me too much. So, all will be going according to plan. If you're curious to see my vision of this planet, um, stick around. Subscribe. I do world building here. And if any papers catch my attention, I look at those too. Apparently. Um, yeah, bye. Okay, just for fun, I thought I'd do a spinner. Because they did say it was a 50-50 chance, right? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's Travis 1E. <laughs> okay, for real, bye.